Ingmar starts his new job. Bye. They're just gonna take my stock and that will be us actually in a brick and mortar shop. Look at this big brave girl. I'm not pregnant right now. Family kiss. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Mm. Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday and this is an exciting day because we're gonna do some serious chilling and a bit of family time because tomorrow Ingmar starts his new job. Ingmar is heading off to the gym. I'm gonna take Mia for a swim and then I don't really know what we're doing in the afternoon. I have a meeting in a shop who would possibly like to stock my artwork, which is exciting. So fingers crossed that that goes ahead. I think after that, we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill at home. It's not a great weather day, but mm -hmm. yes. How do you feel about tomorrow? <laughs> it's exciting. exciting, yeah. Mia has finally discovered what this little toy does. Yeah. <laughs> it's your holy cow from India. <laughs> Go! A little bit? Yeah. No? <laughs> Not yet. She's also been walking around Danger Toy with this hammer or mallet, which I bought. Oops. I bought her this toy in the charity shop yesterday, thinking that she would have a good. Um, a good time whacking these in, but she's just walking around whacking stuff with this instead. So that's a bit of a fail. I am now at the shop where I'm supposed to have a meeting seven minutes ago and it's closed, there's no one around. I've messaged them and I'm not quite sure what to do. So I'm just, I think, no, they don't even have a post box for me to post the stuff into, but it looks cute. So hopefully they're just gonna take my stock and that will be us actually in a brick and mortar shop in Iceland. <laughs> so I've just come home from another one of my epic internet finds and basically <laughs> if you've not been following I am part of this Facebook free upcycle page and I keep bringing home finds <laughs> and this is my latest one Look at the size of it. Oh, I don't know if you can even, can you even grasp how big and amazing it is. <laughs> I thought it was just like a, a storage, just a small bin that I could put my wool in, but I could put like eight children in here. <laughs> I had to park five minutes away from their apartment as well to pick it up. So I had to walk down the street for a good five minutes carrying this, looking like a proper idiot. But it's beautiful. I'm going to just sit here and admire it along with Peppa who's dying and some reusable nappies that I need to build up again to use because I forgot to buy nappies. That's a good thing. We'll use the reusable ones. See? We're all recycling, reusable, up, lifting, <laughs> upcycling. It's all good. Hey guys. Going to work, first day at work today. Um, Sonia told me not to make this long, and I can't because I'm already running late. Um, wow, well, excited, stressed, um, and yeah, looking forward to meet up with some of my old colleagues. Mia stealing the show again. Mia is ready to go off to work, even though she's wearing her pajamas still. And this guy looks very smart and ready for his first day back at school. Yeah. Yay, he's got his lunchbox. Have a great day, babe. Good luck. Family kiss. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Yay. <laughs> Mia say cheese. Where are you going? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is us dressed for the day and Mia has finally let mummy do her hair. Show your hair, Mia. Show your hair. Turn around. Do a turn. <laughs> Yay! It's so cute. Let's see how long it lasts for. Keep it in, please. 
Really? Mia and I are down in the botanical gardens for a little walk. We're about to meet up with two friends and their babies. And Mia is the oldest, she will be the most chatty. And yeah, we're just, we're having a nice walk this morning. We've also had a croissant on the way, so it's all over that little vase. Yes, we need to give you a clean up. I'm just gonna nip into the bathroom now, change her, give her a little clean up, and then go and meet them because yeah, you, when you're the one that has the, the messy toddler and they have beautiful brand new babies, you feel like you need to kind of try and clean up your child and make them look a little bit more respectable. But I'll show you around because it's beautiful. It's such a sunny day and I'm just in a t-shirt. I don't know what temperature it is. It's probably only about 10 or 12 degrees, but this is what the botanics look like. <music> You want some of this? You want some chicken? Yeah. Now for an update, it is nap time. So now I'm trying to push Mia with all the shopping. We went to the bakery and then we went to the supermarket. We've got dinner in here. I'm gonna push her all the way up the hill to that bridge, across the bridge, and all the way up the hill home. Look at this beautiful blue sky. It's incredible today. We're very lucky. And as I do that, I'm singing her. <laughs> singing to her so it's so good to sleep. Hey, hill number one, let's go. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up, pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, oh my goodness. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Your keto Reykjavik, get your bottom to the table, away from your computer. Look at this amazing meal I have made for us. I'm keto by association. <laughs> okay, it's Tuesday. You join me in my kind of office space <laughs> or what I have left of it. I have Mia. We've just dropped Daddy at work and we figured out how to get out of the office industrial estate to get back home. Mia is being a little bit whiny. It's quite <laughs> difficult to pack up orders and keep her happy at the same time. But mommy has an, appoint an appointment today so I would normally do this in nap time, but my appointment is in nap time. So we're just trying to play. We're playing trains. I'm packing up orders at the same time. There we go. Um, and just, yeah, doing Pinteresty things. Yeah. And just kind of trying to slowly get work done at the same time as hanging out laundry and cleaning up from breakfast and keeping me happy. Okay, so that's the orders so far I've managed to get done. I've got to go and get more envelopes, so I've left it organized, ready for me to package up. You're gonna go down the slide. You have to sit on your bum. Sit down on your bum. This is a big slide. Are you ready, Mia? Look at this. Mommy, catch you. Come down here. No, you're just gonna sit there, aren't you? <laughs> I didn't think so. Uh-huh. I'm going back along. 
There we go. You're colour coordinated with all the park today. Are <laughs> you just having a rest? Look at this big brave girl. You're doing the bridge all on your own. Are you going over? No. You just did it. Are you camera shy? So clever, Mia. Yay! Hi, okay, so this is real motherhood. I have just literally washed my fringe and I'm just gonna let it air dry and I have a cold sore. <laughs> so I'm looking very glamorous right now. I have a couple of friends coming over with one kid, one friend, one friend who's a mum and one kid. Um, because it's raining outside, we were gonna go for a walk to the park. I'm not sure if we're still gonna do that depending on kids and waterproofs. What I'm gonna do is make some flapjack because the mums need fuel and stick on the kettle, make a big pot of coffee or tea and just let the kids run riot and make a big mess of the house because Mia's gonna make a mess of it anyway. So we may as well open it to another child and that will entertain her, who is now <laughs> Mia, loves just playing in the bathroom. Kids love watching the washing machine go round and as much as that's hilarious and not educational and probably just makes them dizzy, it does buy you a couple of minutes to talk to you guys. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't even know how much I have filmed this week. I have not started editing anything. I upload on Thursday, which is tomorrow, so I really need to edit tonight. Um, and I don't even know how much I have recorded. Mia, are you coming to speak to your friends? Here they are, they're in the cupboard. Oi, there we go, hi. So Mia was at the playground yesterday in her legs goalie and she decided she would be very grown up and brave, which made mummy very nervous, but I was proud of her. She went up to the top of the slide and normally she just sits there and then waits for me to either come and slide down with her or take her off the slide. But she just decided to go full blast down the slide and she landed it perfectly, but then at the end just toppled forward and scratched her little nose. So now we have a little Rudolph Mia the reindeer nose. Yes, that's your friends. Say hi. Cuddles for mummy. Yes, we have reached the age, the terrible twos, where we're having to start saying no a lot more and not disciplining her, but definitely trying to teach her certain things aren't okay and that we don't hit and that we give mummy kisses and cuddles if we do. And we say, sorry, we didn't mean that, did we? The uh, neighbors upstairs are also having their entire floor removed and re-laid. So it's a noisy, noisy date, no. Ah, uh, mama. I can't even take myself seriously with this on my face. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a website and I've changed over to my name now. So it's sonyanicholson.com. We have the recipe, let's get cracking. 250 grams of oats, 75 grams of sugar, 75 or close <laughs> of butter, and three tablespoons of golden syrup. And I wonder why I don't lose weight. A handful of raisins and a handful of dried apricots. Melt the sugar, golden syrup, and butter into one lovely yucky mess. And then just toss everything together and give it a good old stir. Grease one baking tray and basically put all of that into there, like so. And for anyone wondering, yes, Mia has been happily sat here this whole time in her high chair eating dried fruit. Then you want to bake it in the oven. It doesn't take too long, don't worry. I know this seems like a long process, but it's a really yummy snack and it's great for breastfeeding mamas too. So bake it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes on gas mark four or 180 degrees Celsius. I always cut it up before I take it out of the tin. So just put it on a cooling rack as is kind of cut it with a plastic knife or whatever you've got on hand so it's easier to actually get out and cut up into bite-sized pieces and then enjoy don't eat too much of it because it's delicious and in all that time my fringe is dry it looks a mess it looks like it needs a trim as well so mia and mummy both need to get a trim i might try and do that just before she falls asleep for her nap 
because sleepy baby is the best time to cut her hair. Okay, epic fail. I forgot to vlog this morning as we went to the park, but now I'm serving lunch and dancing for Mia, who is over here. <laughs> Woo! Woo! And this is sometimes how we entertain a baby who's just woken up, who's teething, and is miserable, and has a deaf mummy. Woo! Okay, it's Thursday today. Today I should be editing and uploading this, but I'm not sure that I'm gonna actually manage to do that. Um, we have just found out that we are entering into a kind of, they're calling it a second stage of COVID, but I guess it's still kind of a continuation of the first. Um, here in Iceland and Iceland has been one of the countries that has been very lucky. We have had very small numbers, we've had very small cases and we have not gone into any kind of lockdown quarantine as of yet. Um, that being said, we yesterday there was a spike in numbers where 10 people had um, been tested coming into the country because the border is open to certain countries. I know that America is not one of them and a lot of people message me asking if what the rules are and if I can clarify and I know that it's mostly European European countries um, but I'm not an expert so don't take my word for it. So basically these 10 people were tested, they tested positive, they, one of them has been taken to the hospital and that's why the reg these new regulations and restrictions have come into place and they're kind of stepping up the safety and taking it a lot more seriously. So now we are back to, we've gone from 500 people maximum gatherings to 100 people and it just, even that has just really set the anxiety back in me and Unfortunately, Gran Rosa has just booked a flight to come over. We were very much to and froing about what we should do and if I should go over to visit with Mia or she should come here. And of course, you know, it's easy to say not to travel, but when your family is in a different country and you have little people around and they change so much. Gran hasn't seen Mia for I don't know, since she started walking. Um, and yeah, she starts leg scully soon, she starts nursery soon. And so it just, it would be really, really nice for all of us to see each other. And obviously I miss my brother and sister, obviously, and I miss their kids and their partners and all of my friends back home and other members of the family too. And it's so hard, but thankfully we live in the world of internet and they can watch these videos if they want to and we can FaceTime and everything, but I don't know. It is it is so hard, isn't it? We, we, Ingmar and I have just kind of quickly chatted because unfortunately this is what happened in the last job as well and that makes us so nervous because he started work and he got the training. I think he had two days training and then he had to work from home and he hadn't been fully trained up yet. Um, and everything happened with that. But anyway, that will not happen this time. He's doing very well. This job is gonna be completely different. We're gonna be okay. But it is still really, really scary. So he has just started this week. He's four days into the job and he might end up working from home again. And that's fine, we can do it. We're set up to do it and the whole world is doing it. We're all experts at juggling and working from home now. Um, but when you've just started a new job and it, that kind of situation happened at the start of COVID, it's really scary. So we're, we're facing a lot right now. We're definitely in a better position because he has the job to focus on. We have some income now. My job, my my work is doing really well. COVID has definitely made people want to shop online and for that I am incredibly grateful. And hopefully Mia will get to start nursery because I think there's a hundred kids. Oh, that sounds terrifying, doesn't it? A hundred kids in nursery. Um, she's gone from being at home with me <laughs> to being with 99 other kids but she will possibly be delayed in that I'm, I have no idea so yeah we're back to kind of 
planning and not really planning and being flexible and open and the awkward shall we have a play date should we not shall we have people over for dinner should we not should we stock the kitchen back up and make sure we've got lots and lots of food yes we always should do that um <laughs> not too crazily though uh and just yeah getting prepared in case we have to go back into socially distance sensibly distancing semi lockdown i don't know but yeah so there we go that's that's my kind of update right now i personally have had quite a crazy week because not only has ingmar started this new job and so i am at home with mia and we're kind of juggling that and me running the shop and getting these videos up which is going to be late anyway sorry um but i also had a not to be TMI. I don't want to bore you all with stories of giving birth and my vagina and everything again. Um, but I had a checkup with the gynaecologist this week, which was a very peculiar thing to do. I just went for my smear test, but also had um, a complete check of everything, which was lovely and very reassuring. But I also had an internal scan, which was incredibly painful. And that's what makes me terrified now because how the heck am I gonna potentially, if we're lucky, I'm not pregnant right now, but if we do get pregnant again, I would like to have a natural vaginal birth again because I think it's best. I've been told it's best. Um, but even having an internal scan was incredibly uncomfortable. So. That just fills me with anxiety as well as all this COVID stuff. So yeah, it's been quite a tough week and I felt pretty emotional going through all of that. And I think it's maybe getting closure on everything two years after going through labour. And I'm sure this does happen to a lot of women, but we just don't talk about it. And now I'm getting to the point where I'm sick of talking about it and no wonder people don't talk about it because I don't really want to think about it any more than I normally do. And I don't really want to end the video there, but that's basically my update. I'm now going to finish writing a birthday card for a two-year-old who we might not even really see this weekend for his birthday. But life goes on, so we will get the present to him anyway. And Mia's down for her nap. I'm going to try and start editing this right now in the time that she's napping and then quickly make her some lunch. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe everyone, bye.